Yo, yo, back with another one. I don't even know if that's a good thing. Am I unfortunately back with another one? And the reason why I'm asking that is because um, I'm touching on topics that have to do with the plans for humanity. Where are we going as a society and now as a global society? And these topics are actually really dystopian. But that's also why I'm talking about them because people are like sleepwalking into the future. That's what inspires me to be here with you today, right now, in this moment. The previous video, the question was, what are the digital IDs? If you haven't checked that out, check it out. And in that video, I actually touched on a bit of what we're asking today, which is, what are smart cities? I don't really want to know. And I don't want to talk about it because it makes me sad. But let's do it. So what are smart cities? Smart, what is that word smart? Smart seems to relate to technology. Your smartphone, it's so intelligent. Smart in the context of a city sounds like it means like technology is going to aid life, make life more convenient, easy. Um, they, they'll probably say to make life better. And every time I hear that term, things seems to get worse. So how did things get so twisted? So with a smart city, this is the idea. If you go back to the video digital ID, in the smart city, the idea is that you have a digital ID. You are your digital ID. Every time, everywhere you go, your digital ID is like with you and tracking you in the smart city. So you have face recognition cameras that are seeing you, recognizing who you are and, and giving a geolocation to who you are and connecting that to your digital ID in the smart city. Not only are cameras, you know, wanting to facially recognize who you are, where you are, but potentially there are microphones hearing what you're saying at the same time. Kind of like in the movie, The Demolition Man, which when I think of it, wow, they were introducing the smart city concept back then. And, and it looks like they've been using movies and entertainment to bring in these dystopian ideas to people kind of like showing their ideas for the future which why are such bad ideas being created when so much beauty and magic can be created i think it has to do with the fact that we've been subdued we've been educated into who we are and thus been educated to live in a world into a reality that is really low in terms of potential compared to where we could be um, that way we can be controlled, used, manipulated, and the smart city is only going to amplify that. Now, a smart city becomes dangerous because of data and because of the lack of privacy. So if you identify wherever you go, and if AI is behind the face recognition software, is able to read your facial while at the same time reading your latest post, Oh, they're saying that you need your digital ID potentially to get on the internet? That means everything you do on the internet is tracked 100%. I mean, the lack of privacy would mean that we're actually, um, it would create a, the smart city would be an open prison. A prison that they call a better world. Now, the, the way for it to not be an open prison is if um, there's no digital ID, and there's no identification of the data that's coming in. So in a smart city, all the data of every person will be uploaded to a server via IoT. And IoT is actually a cool technology that enables sensors to send data up to a server online. And it can be public, it can be private. Um, but I've used IoT for making an uh, audiovisual instrument and it's a cool technology. What's not cool is um, what it's going to be used for in the context of a smart city, which is to grab data from video cameras, from microphones, from smart homes, and different sensors, and upload that data online, and then use that data and 
track people and their data. Now, to not track people and their data, your identification would need to be uh, unavailable from the beginning at the root level, meaning that the data that they're picking up should not be uh, connected to who you are, but unfortunately, data is the new goal. Data is what they want. Data is what's on your mobile phone. Um, they're grabbing so much data from every one of us, which is why I'm thinking of doing a video on privacy tech, because we need to get into that. And so if you're using Apple computers, if you're using Windows, if you're using a Google phone, if you're using an iPhone, iPad, then you're being tracked on crazy levels and the things that you think are personal to you are not personal to you and they probably don't even belong to you. So it's about getting into open source technology, peer-to-peer um, uh, -peer technology, uh, blockchain, Web3 technology, and regaining our freedom in the context of a smart city and potentially leaving because I think a lot of people will want to leave the smart city because due to the lack of privacy, we're gonna be like full on slaves in there unless we get the fuck out. But if we get the fuck out, how are we gonna operate? Because all of society um, will have to uh, have the digital ID and live based on whatever they want people to um, to adopt now if people say no and refuse um, non-compliance is the only way for people for all of us as a whole to keep our freedom as just free human beings just basic human rights because they'll be taken away from us if we sleepwalk into the kind of hell that they want to create you want to remain free and happy you know what I mean who doesn't want to be free and happy? I know you do. So even those that are working on those projects really question what you're working on because you may not realize what you're doing and what you're a part of. So let's really question what we're doing. Another aspect of the smart city besides um, being super surveilled everywhere you go with cameras and microphones and geolocation and you know everything you're doing online, every website you're going to and how you can only spend your money in ways that you're allowed to spend your money because now it's a CBDC, right? Go to that video, Central Bank Digital Currency. Go check that out. And so by having all these technologies, um, it becomes suffocating, right? We can imagine that, which is why um, I'm urging you and others to really question these technologies and whether or not they should be adopted within society. Do you think it's good for us to lose our privacy and our life to technocrats and to laws that are subject to change? Now, all this data from our lives that are being uploaded to these servers, um, what if servers get hacked? How will that affect people within these digital grids? Anything, anyone will be controlled through these digital uh, smart cities because they plan on connecting that to smart homes meaning that all your appliances will be connected to IOT which means that there'll be an outside I would say um, a way outside of your home to control your home and to have access to your appliances to shut them down um, in ways that are linked and connected to your daily activities so of course now it's like if you don't pay your bills um, things get shut down electricity power but we're talking about another level where maybe you said something that um, you're not supposed to say because you're exposing something that they don't want you to expose or even talk about or even have a conversation about they can just have direct access um, to your bank account, to your home, and shut things down, which puts pressure on people because then it stops us from expressing ourselves, it stops us from doing anything, even having to know that there's always a camera looking at you and analyzing your face, um, 
it's very creepy and it doesn't even feel like you're you're free to be human on earth anymore um, I understand the security reasons but it can easily be, be taken too far to the point where we're like oh my god like I can't even think freely I can't even move freely because um, if all the cars are electric um, and they con can be controlled from an outside source in the vehicle they can also be shut down and if they're electric they can maybe only go to certain places and not other places which means now we can go wherever we want however we want and that could be taken away from people uh, very quickly in a smart city concept in this digital AI dystopian grids so is that how we truly want to live and under the name of what carbon footprint which is really just a pretext for bringing these things in so yeah that's it for today just a quick look at smart cities go check out my other videos this is willpower artist talks from the series changing the future go check out my work willpowerstudios.com i'm an artist performer creative spiritual technologist spiritual creative technologist however the wor those words get combined and uh yeah here to do what we love align connect with spirit the heart and yeah remember you are the one peace inner peace Willpower Studios.